Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical equation. It is 2x minus 3 equal to square root of 36 minus 9 minus 2x whole cube. We'll have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. As you can see right hand side is having a square root. So this radicand should be always positive. Similarly it is positive so left hand side should also be positive. Now I will frame two inequalities from both of the side LHS and RHS and then we will take the intersection for final domain. So let me write here 2x minus 3. It should be positive. Add 3 to this inequality. 2x should be greater than 3. Divide this inequality by 2. x should be greater than 3 over 2 or x should be greater than 1.5. So left hand side it is one inequality as a domain result x should be greater than 1.5. Now come to RHS. 36 minus 9 minus 2x whole cube it should be positive. That means 9 minus 2x whole cube it should be less than 36. Okay, once it is greater than 36, then a square root of negative number, complex solution will come. Consider cube root both sides. So 9 minus 2x, it should be cube root of 36. And this approximate value is 3.3. .3. So I will write 9 minus 2x, it should be less than 3.3. .3. Take 3.3 .3 to the left and 2x to the right. So I will write 9 minus 3.3. .3. It should be like this. Now 9 minus 3.3 .3 is 5.7. It should be less than 2x. Divide this inequality by 2. So x should be greater than 5.7 over 2. So 2.85. Now I have to consider the intersection of both the conditions. So as you can see using number line you will draw and you will get the result x greater than 2.85. So only solutions which are exceeding 2.85 that would be the accepted solution for real numbers. Let's solve this equation. I will begin with taking a square both sides straight away. So I will write 2x minus 3 whole square. I am taking a squaring of this equation equal to 36 minus 9 minus 2x whole cube. A square root and a square will be over. Now I will give substitution straight away. But before that I will take minus common from this bracket. So 2x minus 3 whole square, it would be equal to 36 and once you will take minus common, power is odd, so it will become plus 2x minus 9 whole cube. Now let us use substitution. I will write this cubic term, let 2x minus 9 equal to suppose a. So I need to write 2x minus 3 also, so add 6 to both sides. So I will add 6 then I will be having minus 3. Add 6 then I will be having a plus 6. So both of the values we have to apply here in this equation. So what I will write in place of 2x minus 3 I will write a plus 6 whole square equal to 36 plus 2x minus 9 is a a cube. Now Either you can simply expand or you can consider 36 to the left then it is a square minus b square formula. So I will write a plus 6 whole square minus 36 which is 6 square equal to a cube. Now difference of two squares a square minus b square it is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Let's apply here. So a plus b 6 plus 6 and a minus b a plus 6 minus 6 
equal to a cube. Conclusion a plus 12 and a. So a times a plus 12 equal to a cube. Now I will take all the terms to one side. a times a plus 12 equal to a cube. a cube minus a times a plus 12 equal to 0. Now take a common. In bracket it would be a square minus a minus 12 equal to 0. So f dot g equal to 0. That means either f equal to 0. So we will write either a equal to 0 or this quadratic equal to 0. So a square minus a minus 12 equal to 0. So we will solve both the equations one by one. And remember what was our substitution because that will come little later 2x minus 9. This was our substitution. So let us put over there 2x minus 9 equal to 0. So from here I can conclude 2x is equal to 9. Add 9 to both sides. Divide by 2 both sides. x will be equal to 9 over 2. One real solution is confirmed because it is greater than 2.85 as per domain. 9 by 2 is 4.5 which is greater than 2.85. Now come to this quadratic equation. I will apply quadratic formula, Sridharachar formula minus b. So minus of minus 1, 1 plus minus a square root of b square minus 1 square 1 minus 4ac. So 4 times 12, 48 it is divided by 2a so 2. 1 plus minus a square root of 49 divided by 2 which I will further write 1 plus minus square root 49 is 7 divided by 2. Now it will be 1 plus 7 over 2 so 8 over 2. 8 over 2 so 4. 1 minus 7 over 2 so minus 6 over 2 minus 3. This is our a. Now I will write the value of substitution a 2x minus 9. Let me write here 2x minus 9 equal to 4 and minus 3. This is our a value. Now I will add 9 to both sides. So it will become 2x add 9 here 9 plus 4 9 minus 3. In next step 2x is equal to 13 and 9 minus 3 is 6. Now divide this equation with 2. So x will be equal to 13 over 2 and 6 over 2 is 3. Now only we have to cross examine through our domain which we calculated earlier. It was x should be greater than 2.85. This was our condition. So you can see this is 6.5 and it is 3. So both values are greater than 2.85. So both solutions are accepted solutions. So our final ultimate solution would be result is 13 by 2. It is 6.5. Let me write 13 by 2. Then 3. And the very first one was 9 over 2. 4.5. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care of yourself.